and it is going to be epic. We even ran out of massive boulders from Alabama. All right, Ed, you ready for this? This is a, this is a good pick right here. The good pick. Oh, we, we got enough. We loaded back up. Mother load. Oh, mother load. <laughs> this is the dopest ever uh, otter pod ever. Heck yeah. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. It is evening here on the ranch right now and we have a bunch of guys that have been working pretty much half, probably more than half the day here inside of the aviary enclosure because the aviary did need a little bit more rock and I wasn't able to get around that. Right now, this is part four that you guys just joined into of the otter enclosure that you guys saw of part three. So I'm gonna show you guys what's going on in the aviary build and I'm gonna give you guys a quick little who's been helping me inside of this bill. So I'm gonna flip the camera and show you what's up. How's it going, Blake? All right, so this guy right in here, what's your name? My name is Morgan. Morgan. With, uh, Colorado Pond Pros. Pond Pros, right here on the bottom. Colorado Pond Pros. Morgan has been here with, what's your name? Jason. Jason and? Matt. Matt. Josiah. And Chris. And Chris. All of these guys from different companies that own their own companies or joined other companies, whatever it is, follow them. They've been working their butts off here in the aviary build. As you guys see, the water is very, very murky, but that it does not matter whatsoever. We're making sure this aviary pond is completely sealed so no fabric is shown it whatsoever. They've been hustling and pushing through rock and gravel, cutting through everybody just to bring the rocks all the way to the farthest part of the enclosure, going through double doors, been working their butts off. Um, appreciate it, bro. Thanks. Really Thanks appreciate it. Us, no, 100%. And um, yeah, you guys are killing it. And what is your company? Minnesota Waterscapes. Minnesota Waterscapes. Minnesota, there you go. So oh. this right here is nice warm weather for you guys. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty dope. You guys are living like in a tropical forest right now, yeah, inside gonna... of a pond with all sorts of different creatures down in there. It's pretty freaking awesome. It's looking absolutely amazing. But I know everybody that clicked in right here wants to go see part four of the otter build. So we're going to head over there and we'll come back over here once it is all finished. So it's going to be part four of otters and a part of inside the aviary enclosure. Let's do it. Today's video is sponsored by ab 2 n This is a company that has all different types of inventory for animals and animal cages. Today we have a cat house and we're going to use this for our otters. So we're going to open it up and show you what we got. This item right here is Air 14 Pet Hutch. This thing is perfect for cats, but for today, we're not gonna use it for cats. We're gonna be using it for a sleeping spot for our otters. We'll open this bad boy up, see what we have inside, and start getting this whole thing put together. All these pieces here are firewood that are coated with eco-friendly paint that are 100% safe for people and animals. So I'm not gonna show you step-by-step step in putting this whole thing together, but it is easy to assemble with the instruction manual right here, all the screws and all the tools you need and the wheels right here. So let's put this bad boy together and uh, make our cat house. There you go. So we just got done with this whole cat house right here. It has a beautiful asphalt roof right here that is 100% waterproof. You guys can check inside, it has ramps, little seating areas for them to sit and chill. We have an escape door right here as well. And they have two areas to jump into the enclosure without a doubt, so there's two entryways. And then for cleaning, we have this spot right here where you open it up and grab our cat or otter if you have one right here. It also has four wheels so you can move it around the house with ease. So Oliver and Kylie, it takes a little bit for them to get used to the cat house, but they're gonna absolutely love it for how amazing it has with all the little shelves and all the cool little things that this house has for cats, but for my otters, it's gonna do great. Awesome, awesome product. You guys should choose IV Tubin because it can get delivered to your house in three to seven business days. Make sure you guys go check out IV Tubin and go down to the description right now and go check out all the products that they have available for your animals. They have tons of different things to choose from down in the description. So if you guys have not seen part three, make sure you guys go check it out right now. It was an absolute epic way on getting that viewing panel in place. It is in place right now. This is part four. The guys are getting the viewing sitting station nice and leveled and perfect to sit down. Everybody's working everywhere and people are drinking beers. So some people are already quit and some people are still working, but there's still guys going, there's still guys, people doing it. What's your uh, thing again? Blue. Blue Lotus. Blue Lotus. 
water skates. He's been working his butt off too. During the glass, everybody has been putting in so much time into this enclosure. No way I would be able to do as much as this would have took me probably a month to do, probably even more, because there's no way I was going to be able to do that any other way. But they are knocking it out. It is looking absolutely epic, and uh, it is getting there. It is getting there. It is looking crazy. Heck yeah. All right, Jay, I'm back at you again. We're on part four of the otter build, and uh, it's looking crazy. What do you guys think? It's getting, it's getting together. It's getting, it's getting there. I've been to a lot of incredible zoos around the world, and this is going to compete with it right here. There you go. That's what I like to hear right there. Everybody's working. Everyone's putting in such an incredible job right now. Literally, it's almost just about this is left. They're filling in all the gaps, getting everything together. Look how deep this pond is. We can come all the way down over here. And the water level is going to be crazy. You can see little jets down in there. It's going to be pushing water. Jets over there pushing water. It's going to be really, really crazy. People are measuring, throwing rocks, doing this, doing that. There's stuff happening everywhere. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up because this is absolutely epic. I told you guys we're going to have a crazy otter build, and it is here right now. Water is going to be coming over the top right there, coming down. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. The water is going to flow over that side going down. Wow. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. We made sure we put some styrofoam in the front of the glass so that we don't hit anything, tap anything, just in case so we're nice and safe. And that's what we wanted. What you think, Houston? Looking awesome, huh? All right, so in part three, I said I wanted a diving board, and Ed said it's not happening. It's going to be a seat. So I guess the pond professor said it's going to be a seat, so it's going to be a seat. Retaining wall. There we go. He was like, we're going to make it happen. And he's like, just don't tell Ed. And now it's a seat again. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. It's all good. That's a big old piece of stone, though. Get a little bit lower. That's a big one. It always has all of the hand signals for the person on the excavator. They got to work together to make sure it is exactly perfect. Look at that. Centimeters away. Crazy. We got to dig it down lower. <laughs> it's too tall for a sitting rock. It ain't gonna be a sitting rock anymore. It ain't gonna be a sitting rock. No more sitting rock. It needs to be a, a springboard. No. <laughs> we have to hold all that soil in. Got it. <laughs> we need another boulder. <laughs> that is supposed to be a little dive board. Nah, it's chilling. It's good. It's good. <laughs> so you're bringing it all back this way now. Yeah, we have to build all this dirt up the here. Yeah, that's a lot of dirt that's go. So we're on part four of the otter enclosure right now, and Hooster's been on guard watching all the turtles because it just warmed up from our, our cold front in South Florida, and the Redfoots have been laying a bunch of eggs. We have two clutches that are laying right now, and this big girl right down over here is on nine eggs. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. There's some golf balls down there. We're going to let her be and let her do her thing. What do you think, Houston? It's pretty cool. You ever yeah. seen a tortoise lay eggs before? No. No? All right, we'll make sure we put your Instagram or your YouTube down below for you guys to check him out as well. But uh, let's go back to the otter build and see what's going on. Okay. Let's do it. The viewing session has a ton of 89 rock. It was really, really deep, and I was like, whoa, that's kind of deep. But they filled it up for probably, what, I'll say eight inches of peat gravel? Four inches. Four inches of gravel right there, so that'll help if it floods a little bit. It'll hold it down, and it'll percolate back down into the ground with no problem. Sitting in the rock everywhere. Ed was just saying that tomorrow morning, 10, 30, 11, we're going to have like 6,000 gallons of water being placed. So this has to be ready to go to hold water. The water needs to be in this so we can run it to show everybody that is here how it runs. There's a lot to go. Giant rock is going out of the air. There's just nonstop rocks moving. Everybody has not stopped working. Any idea where this rock's going? Uh, not quite yet. Big rock's going right there. That is a big boy. And he is going over there right now. So... Let's get it. Now, that's a big rock. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> what you think about the pond? The log is sick. Yeah. The log is super cool. This area is gonna be different. A really awesome little space. Yeah. The problem with this pond, yeah. you're gonna be sitting down here and you're never gonna get out of your shit though. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just always gonna be sitting here not wanting to leave. It's I already do that with the aviary. Really so now I'm gonna have two spots. It's gonna be even now, worse. I'll tell you this. I didn't doubt it. Right? Like I told you. Yeah, yeah. Time. They always finish on time, especially that man there. Yeah, he, he's working it. He might make you sweat a little bit. Yeah. If you're gonna get it done, but they're gonna finish on time. Yeah, Brian time. said last night, I, Ed's gonna get it done. Yeah. It's more than what, 85% yeah. done, easy. You're done. You'll finish tomorrow easy. Yeah. Easy. Dope. Dope. 
Now this is uh, definitely getting crazy. Everyone's hanging out, learning, watching, and just sitting back and doing their thing. So that rock has to sit perfectly right there up against the slab of the viewing panel and the wall right there so that it can hold up all the dirt and the water into that pond. So that's like the last place to seal it up. So it's gonna sit right there and that liner will get folded up and then all the dirt will get pushed up all up against that. So that'll be all land as well. It is a very, very, very big piece. Making sure we don't hit the glass. We have styrofoam, but it's a very like crucial spot. Jay's right there. Really big shout out to Jay. Rivercrest, he has not stopped working, putting in time all day long. Make sure he's right there on the job, just like Ed. Uh, this is crazy. A lot of people, but a lot of work has been getting done. One day, they finished the pond. Literally one day. Crazy. A little bit of prep work, as you saw in pro, uh, part one, but this is wild. <laughs> the sun's about to go down. It's about to be dark in a few minutes, and they're nonstop working. You just saw the rock going in over there. Bunch of guys are working on that project, and now we're over here working and getting this massive log into place so that it's going to sit there at that waterfall i'm going to warn these guys right now what i need to make sure it doesn't pass that one line so that's going to be crucial we are losing daylight fast but don't worry ed i got that light that's going to turn on in a few minutes and the light's going to be nice and shining yeah with the lights late 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 night without a problem we're getting it going give me six inches yeah. All right, so we're almost there. It's going to sit down exactly in place. They pretty much measured it all out to sit perfectly where they need it to go. There it goes. Everyone's getting tired, but everybody wants to finish. Chris and Ed are making sure it is exactly perfect where it needs to fit right now and that is what's going on the fabric is going to sit on top of the liner so it's perfect now that log is going to sit there forever now Ed said it's perfect we're ready to go dope 100% dope look at that thing epic so after a long day of recording and watching everybody work because I absolutely didn't pick up one rock today I saw everything and soaked it all in we got a full-on dinner right here. We got a ton of food for everybody. A lot of different types of food, candy bar, all sorts of things. Epic, epic day. Eating tacos tonight for the third day here on the ranch. Crazy, crazy, crazy day. Over 170 people in the front yard right now. Private party for the last couple days. It's been an epic day, and we have one more day to get the whole thing done. I'll see you guys in the morning. And uh, yeah, see you in the morning. What is up, everybody? It is the next day on part four, and nobody is here yet. It is 6.50 in the morning. I'm letting all the dogs out so the dogs are able to use the restroom without the people being here. It is an absolute crap show here, as in there is just stuff everywhere, but it'll get all cleaned up today. With Pondscape still being here, they'll be the last ones that are gonna be here, and they help me clean everything up at the end. We have a dump truck at the end of the property to load that whole thing up and be ready to go uh, we're gonna use every single piece of material that we have here on the ranch inside of the otter enclosure or as you guys saw in the aviary enclosure we're using everything we don't want nothing to be left behind and it is going to be epic we even ran out of massive boulders from alabama crazy stuff um so we're trying to i'm i was trying to figure out what it's going to do for seating spots instead of rock but i have a neighbor that has some massive massive logs so i'm going to see if we're going to be able to we'll get some of those logs today stay tuned follow along make sure you keep this video a thumbs up because we are going up and beyond making oliver and callie's enclosure insane for you all to see uh you can see we have no more grass everywhere but that's easy that's simple that's just grass you can switch that and a flick of a, a finger with throwing new grass back on top but I'll get back to you guys once everybody is here and uh, see you guys soon with the madness. So everybody is here now, as you can see, and there's people working in every single spot, people doing water, cleaning the rocks. People are still moving rocks. Ed is directing people in other places. People are laying down fabric all around the spots that are not gonna be pond to make sure that there is no way that the otters get touched the dirt. They don't have claws, so they're not gonna be able to rip it in any way. If they're able to get it, they'll be able to bite it with their teeth, that's it. 
People are laying logs in the backside over there because that's gonna be my perimeter wall right there. So the otter's not going on my backside. I'm gonna have a working station spot to be able to be able to access the whole back of the enclosure if needed. Uh, stuff is going around everywhere. The waterfall is the last part to really go. They need to close off that whole area over there where Jay's at right now because water's coming in a few hours like Ed was just mentioning. Uh, a bunch is going on. People are just tightening up, making everything look pristine, covering everything so it doesn't look like a pond in any way. All the liners hiding and uh, it is getting there. It is definitely getting there. So the idea here is that the water is only going to come down from this spot right here. All this is going to be solid. This is going to be like a drier area and the water is going to come in fast right here onto there. The water fall down. So we'll see that happen a little bit, but it is getting there. A lot of people here again. Everyone will be gone by lunch. So this is going to be crazy. All right. So they are fabricating the whole entire thing everywhere so that there's going to be gravel and rock all down. Jay over here and all of these guys right now are getting a perfect line of these utility poles, these fence posts perfectly lined up so that that's going to be my barrier wall and I'll be able to walk and do maintenance on the backside if needed. And it is looking perfect, perfect, perfect. I mean, it looks amazing. I'm going to actually add these two by two pieces of galvanized uh, metal going across the backside and attach my mesh to that. So this will be on the inside of their enclosure. And we're going to do the same thing on the far backside over there, all the way over there where Ed's at. Uh, pretty freaking dope. Uh, I'm going to get the exact measurements for you guys on how big this enclosure is, but it is a massive enclosure. There's going to be an area for the otters to chill out of the sun and then they'll be able to run inside to their lockout. So... I really think this is really coming together. I hope you guys are enjoying this as well. We got him working on the small excavator. He's bringing in, Jack is bringing in a ton of flat rock right now, going under. And then over here, we got another excavator in the back with probably a thousand pounds of gravel coming in as well. I don't even know where that gravel is going. We're using everything to go into this pond right now. It is becoming epic. It's nonstop. Everyone's working. Everyone's getting things done. It is a pretty, pretty freaking crazy otter build. All right, so we just pulled over a bunch of the guys real quick on the side of the road by my neighborhood, and I just saw they just knocked down more woods, of course. You know, that's just how it is out here. But we're going to use the trees again, and we're going to use them for the otter enclosure. We got some stuff already right here, but we need a lot more for benches and more decoration for the otters. Uh, they said, yeah, this is good stuff, but it's really freaking heavy. So we're just going to start grabbing stuff and loading up and getting back to the house. So let's get it. So there's a ton of smaller logs around here. And these guys are like, we need the big stuff. So they got a nice spot right there. That's four seater. We're going to get that. We're going to get this big log right here. We're just picking everything up. We're taking as many logs as we can. Because the more, the better. So we want to come again. Look at these guys. Is it rotten or it's good? It's good? All right. We're taking the big one. with the mushrooms and all. Look at that big giant one we got. That's a bench right there. You said snakes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Over the head. My God. There we go. Heck yeah. All right, so now they're getting even a bigger one. Who knows where we're going to stick this one, but we're going to figure it out. You know the we're, back walls? Yeah. The, the post we were putting in? Yeah. You want another one to swing around? Sounds good. Really good to swing around right Make it happen. Let's get it. The more crazier it looks, the better the otters are going to have more fun. <laughs> yeah. These guys. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> These guys are just animals over here. <laughs> epic. We love our job, man. Yeah. That is for sure. Look at that. Whole freaking trees, bro. Whole yeah. <laughs> trees. It's not even gonna fit on the trailer. One, two, three. Yeah. Heck yeah. All right, do we think we need more? Yes. Yes, more trees. <laughs> Are they gonna equal out on rocks oh, and branches now? Oh my god, no trespassing, you said. Uh, it don't matter. Let's keep it going. So we filled up this whole entire trailer up with logs. Oliver Cali, if you ever watching a YouTube video, I hope you guys like this logs. There's a lot. There you go. You like that one? Pond Pros. There we go. Pond Pros. He knows the name. Oh, yeah. Woo. All right. We're almost there. You guys will just keep on going, getting more and more. 
We love this, man. Heck yeah. Anything you can add to twist it in. Definitely. So we're gonna do it. All right, Ed, you ready for this? This is uh, <laughs> this is a good pick right here. Ready. The good pick. Oh, <laughs> we, we got enough. We loaded back up. Mother load. Oh, mother load. We got the mother load of trees over here. Hell yes. So I think we're good with seats. Yeah. And uh, they're ready to go cut spots. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Right. Gotta get this truck in there. So yeah. Back it up and we're good. Yeah, hand saw. Yeah. Hand saw. Yeah, no reason that whole thing, yes. Greg. Look at this one. <laughs> Backrest right there. Oh, they're gonna be perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. We're good. We got seats. Do it. Yeah. Perfect. All right, Jay, I'm back again. Yes, sir. That rocks thing right there? Absolutely. So this is all for right. retention for all dirt can start mounting in here. Got it. It holds everything back so the pathway comes around. All right. But aesthetically, it frames everything out. Yep. Come up out of that seating area. So I'm going to have the challenge now. I'm figuring out how I'm going to attach the wire to here, but I can just cut it perfectly. And then what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the wire with concrete a little bit and make it all blend in perfectly all the way around and square it all off so it looks like it's part of the enclosure yeah so it's gonna actually look really really cool when the mesh is just lining up all in it heck yeah dope all right so everything is going holy crap i guess you guys found the spot you want to put the log that's awesome heck yeah we got guys down in there right now cleaning up the glass making sure it looks perfect for the water to come in there is a lot going on. Big log that we just picked is coming over everyone's head. So watch out. <laughs> there it goes. That's a big boy. Look at that thing, Jay. That's a big guy right there. I don't want to get knocked out. I want to see the water go in first. Here we go. Everything is starting to come together. It is being crazy. It's gonna be filled up in water in just a few minutes, so make sure you guys are ready for all of this. We're never in the way. Um, so I feel like I'm always in the way. I think uh, this part should come down here. We gotta spin it. All right, we're in the way, we're in the way. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with you. Right? Yeah. 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 We're in the way, we're in the way. <laughs> I told you that. Oh, right. All right, the log is going out. And Ed, where did you think about it? We're gonna unstrap it, we're gonna move it by hand. Drop it! Yeah, we moved it by hand, that's kinda heavy. So, I'd like to get this almost dying down right here, so let's try to... We'll lift it, and we'll pull it back that way, like 18 inches. Alright. Bustle! One, two, three, up! Oh, that's, that's easy now. A little bit, six more inches, a little bit more. Six more inches. Good! Now, rear down. Is that getting hit there? Nope. Hold up. Hold oh, it's up. a perfect bench. You gotta come back to me a little bit. No. I see a hose coming in from the water. Water is coming in. Is that big? It looks like the hose is about to turn on. Anybody know? 6,000 gallons of water coming in in a few seconds. We get the phone. I'm going down in there and getting that water to come out. All right, he just turned on the water. The water should be on its way right now. And this bad boy is going to be filling up. Everyone's like, you're gonna get sprayed up, but you know, it's all right. Let's see how fast it actually comes out of here. Fire hose time. I see some movement. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Uh, 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 uh. I hear it. Here we go. All right. We got water. Oh, yeah. Let's fill her. You don't think so? It'll be quick? Yeah. Well, that's 6,000 gallons. Anybody know? 6,000 gallons? Six? Hope so, too. So it fills up all the way. How many gallons you guys is this? Anybody know? About? Ask, ask Ed? All right, I'll ask Ed. Well, if it fills up this, we know it's six something. Yeah. Oh, no, I know. That's 1,500 gallons itself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice waterfall right there. Here we go. Oh, and all the aqua block has to fill up, too, first. If anybody wants to put any last rocks in there, this is the time before you got to put your snorkel on. Oh, I'm going to get that zip tie.
I got the zip tie out. Oh, my bad. All right, here we go. The whole bottom has filled up and everything is starting to go. You can see the jets are filled up with water too. The viewing panel is about to be shown in water. Here we are. This is crazy, a lot of water. There's no way we're going to fill it up that fast without that water truck. The, my hose would not have been able to do that this quick. It would have took way more than a few hours. Filling her up. Yeah, it's getting cold. It's going to be cold. Big old hot tub. Oh yeah, making sure it's good. All of her safe. Hell no, I'm not going to my head underneath that water. Yeah, no, not I. Oh yeah. I mean, if you do it half and half, it'd be kind of dope too. It's like the zoo as well, because you see them jumping and everything. Oh yeah. That's a nice TV right there. Artificial grass is going into the back right now. They're gonna get it all nice and perfect in the back side. It's so, gonna you know, give it a nice good pop in the back, nice green grass. We're probably gonna get some over here on this side as well. So green, green, rock all around. It's gonna look really, really, really awesome. Everybody's ready to see the final review of the waterfall going. I'm gonna get over there in just a few seconds to see the water start crashing over that log. Look how much water's in there. That's a, uh, this is a quality of zoo quality right here. We got the good bench right here. Whoever, I forgot who picked it out, but somebody picked it out earlier. It's a dope bench. Trees flying, rocks flying, stuff's everywhere. Water is coming in very, very, very fast right now. And there's one spot that has to get done. The liner staying up, but it is coming in really fast. He right now is foaming a waterproof wall right now. So the water is only able to come through this spot right here. Fabric? I need a piece of fabric. There we go. Water is pushing. Water is a very, very strong thing. And it is coming in quick. Uh oh. Here she comes. Here she comes. It's flowing. This is crazy looking. The water is completely filled up. Everything is filled up. We might have to add the hose just a tad more to make sure there's enough water running through the pipes and over through the waterfall and everything. This is where the water is going to be going over and above, down through the logs, over the rock, down into the intake, back to the pumps, back around, bio balls over there into that bio filter over there. It is looking crazy. They're making steps down there to walk to the bottom. Logs, last little bits and its and touches are going all around, getting the grass nice and put into place it is just about there there's gonna be a low landing area just land only but it's almost there this is looking absolutely crazy all right trevor minutes away that's where minutes away first one here building this two three weeks ago with ed and everybody up and park space so minutes away everyone's brushing getting everything last little bit for the reveal greg is grabbing everyone's garbage everyone's <laughs> grabbing everything right now we're in the last little bit sweeping raking making everything as perfect as we can right now uh this is absolutely crazy the sun just came out as well it's warming up it's looking crazy heck yeah right, i'm gonna flip the camera we're gonna see this boy start taking off i might climb on top of the roof again might have to make that happen so the time that we have been waiting for we've been waiting for the last couple days to get this going been a year in the making of making this pond happen and it is finally here you guys make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel always have your post notifications on because this is an absolute epic enclosure that is getting done right now it is done it's pretty much done there's so much more for me to do but they're getting the last little bits and ins and outs and everything we're about to turn on that waterfall right now we're just a few minutes away. I'm gonna flip the camera over and we're gonna hear that thing splash. So let's get it. They're getting a group shot right now of everybody around the pond. That is a lot of people around that pond. I mean, it is up and loaded. Absolutely amazing. So, so cool. I appreciate everybody that was here to help me make this possible. It would have taken me 
months and months and months of work without getting this done. I appreciate you, Greg. I appreciate you, Ed. I appreciate Jay. I appreciate Trevor. I appreciate all these people and everybody else that was here to make this 100% possible. Dreams do come true. Oliver and Callie are going to be one happy freaking otters. I'll tell you that. Um, incredible. Incredible, incredible, incredible enclosure. Look at that. Water is sucking down right now. It's starting to disappear, but bam. We got a little flow right there. That's going, that's looking good. Heck yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> and we got a water hose running in it. That's about No, we don't. Do we need more water? She getting dry. <laughs> We're gonna have to probably add a little bit of water. Here it goes. We got water pouring there. Water all the way down there. Water's pouring all into here. How are you looking on that bio ball back there? Around those edges, you got the on the jack. We got a splash over there right now. She's filling. There we go. Oh, I love that. Nice going down right there. It went down and the water just, it was just there. I don't know where it came from. Oh my god, it looks spectacular. Yeah. I, and I love this. I didn't know you guys had even put that in yeah. there. Yeah. This is the dopest ever uh, otter pond ever. Heck yeah. Alright, we're going to otter pond now. <laughs> Water's coming down right here. That flow is nice. It is uh, definitely crazy. A lot to take in, but it's done. We'll be sitting here all night hanging out. All right, so there's not too many things that are overwhelming for me. This was overwhelming. Yeah, this is this was a definitely a challenging project, but you had certified office gate contractors. I had, I had the right team. We had the right prep work of two weeks ago. Logistical challenges, everything in modern world right now went against us. Challenges, getting materials, engineering, glass, boulders coming from Alabama, getting all that stuff here, all the people together, working on everything, deliveries late, not showing up. <laughs> we, pulled wow. it off. we pulled it off. That's crazy. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I got done in two days this time. Um, it, well, we got done with two days with 150 yeah, people. Definitely. But it, this is the fourth aquascape water feature. Something tells me it won't be the last. It won't be the last. And hey, young man, you're doing great. Thank I, you. I wish I was an otter. I mean, yeah, these, these, these are going to have an incredible home, and it's going to be fun for us to follow along as their journey goes. Everybody, this. too. Absolutely. Everybody. You got a lot of Aquascape fans here, buddy. Heck yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it for sure. Oh, you cannot see it. <laughs> there you go. First guy in there. Maybe. It's cold, huh? Yeah. It's deep, too. It is deep. Put your face right up here. Your hands right up to the thing. Come on, pull it, go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Heck yeah. That was my first guy in the pond yes. right now. Way too cold for me. I'll wait till summertime. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, not going in there right now. Not happening. Heck yeah, though. We got somebody sleeping or hanging out. He was in the pool. Yeah, literally. <laughs> That is funny. That is funny looking otter. All right, you guys, today has been an absolutely epic day. There has been no absolute way I wouldn't be able to do it. Ed and all the 170 people that were here to get this thing done. 
Um, there's so much more to do here for this enclosure to close the whole entire thing up to get Oliver and Callie permanently outside, getting the building done and all that stuff. So make sure you guys are liking the videos, subscribe to the channel, keep the post notifications on so you guys are ready for, I would say, part five of working on getting the otter build completed done. The pond is done. I might have to do a little bit of things here and there just so Oliver is perfect and Callie is perfect. But Ed, what do you think? Oh, I am blown away by it. Blown away. Oh my gosh. I mean, again, just your vision for the overall property, yeah. how we could work with you, coming, Correct. collaborating, figure stuff out, heading to uh, Alabama, picking out rocks together, Everything. coming up with ideas and drawings for this. stuff like this. This is the main reason the pond wanted to start. A this year and a half ago, I got Oliver and I told Ed, I got an order. We need a viewing panel and we made it happen. Crazy. Oh, dude. Thank you again. My pleasure. Thank you again. All right. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.